Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be filming a video on my eight hidden tattoos. And some of them are a little more visible, obviously, because you can't make them completely hidden. But I wanted to show you guys them. I wanted to discuss like the price point, the pain in each area, and then, oh, the meaning behind each one, because every single one of my tattoos has a meaning. So let's get started. So the first tattoo I've I ever got was on my ribs and I'm going to insert a clip of all my tattoos here so you guys can see them close up because I can't show you my ribs right now. This one on my ribs says live with love in Spanish so it says vivi con amor and what that means is basically I got this I think right when I turned 18 so I was kind of going through a breakup and I just like I don't know I just felt like not very like a loving person anymore I was just so angry. And I actually hate the font of it so much. It was my first tattoo, so I didn't realize that I don't like thick fonts. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it's not perfect, but I still like the meaning. So I'm just going to keep it. It's fine. But if I could go back, I would change the font. But you can pretty much hide that one because it's on my ribs with a bathing suit or anything. So it's not. And I think that tattoo was like $80. I got it at a different shop than all my others. All my other seven tattoos are at the same shop with the same tattoo artist because I just like his work the best. But that one was at a different local shop, a different town for me. And it was like $80 and then I always tip 20%. That one actually didn't hurt me as bad as some of my others. My most painful one I'll get to, but it was actually my most recent one, which hurt so bad. Um, the second one I got is this one. It says Joyful Life. Joy de Vivier in French. Um, don't ask me why I got two different languages on me. I kind of wish I would've just got French in French or Spanish in Spanish, but this was when I was like 18, so I don't know. But this one says Joyful Life. It's basically just live each day with joy. I love this tattoo. It's super small and dainty. I just got it across my wrist like this, and I think it's so cute. I love this one, and it's pretty, it's my second most visible one. So I like this one a lot. This one hurt. This one hurt like on a scale of one to 10, probably like a seven out of 10 maybe. It did hurt, but it was so quick because he just like went through it once that it went by pretty fast. I mean, it wasn't too bad. And I think this one was like 70 or $80 too. I think probably like 70. Um, so it was like a seven out of 10 and then my ribs were probably like six out of 10, I would say. Um, it just kind of feels like a like a knife dragging across to you, kind of. Not like a really sharp knife, I don't know. Tattoos hurt me a lot more than piercings. I don't know. My third tattoo was on my back. This is my third tattoo. I'll put a close up clip of it right here. But this one is my sister's birth flower. So I have an older sister who's born in October and then my younger sister is born in, or was born in September. So those are their two birth flowers and then the extra flowers on the side are just like fill-in flowers that the tattoo artist added for me so i actually really love that tattoo a lot i love the placement you can see it when i'm wearing tank tops like just like right now but you can also completely hide it if you want by wearing any shirt that hides your back basically so i really like that one a lot um that one that one didn't hurt that bad actually but i think it's because like your back doesn't have a lot of bones right there so let's say that one was like maybe a five out or six out of ten and that one was like 80 or 90 dollars because it had a lot of shading on the flowers and he designed the tattoo for me because i just showed him the two flowers i wanted and he drew up a design yeah, that was my third my fourth tattoo was the one behind my ear which i'll show you guys i think you can probably see that um this one is my dad's handwriting it's from his um college like id and it's actually our last name on my dad's side of the family, so it's my last name. And it just says Olinsky in his exact handwriting. I took a picture of his college ID card and brought it in to the tattoo artist and surprised my dad. That one was like literally a zero out of 10. I could not feel it at all, which is so weird because you like think that's a bone right there. But I could not feel that at all. Like, I, I don't know how. I literally don't understand. I went alone to get this one. I just did it like spur of the moment. And a lot of people compliment this one when my hair is up because you can like totally see it. But it's just really cute and dainty. It was $60, which is the minimum at the shop I go to. That one was literally a zero out of 10. Like I could not feel it at all, which is so strange. I really thought I'd be able to feel it, but I couldn't. 
So um, yeah, my next tattoo that I got was, I got two in the same day. I got one with my best friend, a matching one on my ribs that says always. This one, it didn't hurt that bad because it's so small. Um, she got hers on her hand, which probably hurt a lot more. But um, it just says always like, it's just like means we're always gonna be best friends. We've been best friends for a really long time. Um, she's like a sister to me. So we got those together. So now I have one for everyone in my family, I'll get to the one for my mom shortly. And it really didn't hurt that bad. I got two that day. So I think it was like $80 for both because they were both so small. Um, this was the other one I got. It's a cross. When I turn my wrist, it looks like it's crooked, but it's actually straight. When I insert a clip, you'll be able to see it, but it's just a little cross because I'm a Christian. So I got that one. My sister has um, a cross, the same cross, just in the middle, but I got a really dainty one. I really like small tattoos. So you can't see that unless I turn my wrist. So I really like this one a lot. It's just really small. The line work on it is a little weird. Like, I don't know if it goes like thinner at the bottom. You'll see in the close up, but mm, I can always get that fixed. It really doesn't bother me that much unless I'm looking directly at it. I really don't think much of it. And this one literally so small, you can't even feel it really. Probably like a five out of 10. I mean like the spot kind of hurts, but it was so quick. I'm sure if you got like a long tat or a big tattoo there, it would hurt a lot more. It really didn't hurt me that bad though because it was just a short little tattoo. Okay, so the next tattoo I got was for my mom. Um, it's on the back of my elbow right here. It's the Roman numerals of her birthday. So it just says July 1968. Um, we always make jokes because my birthday is July 26th and hers is July 24th. And we're exactly 40 years apart. So like, well, once my birthday hit. So we're like, we call each other birthday babes or whatever. So I got this tattoo for her. It kind of hurt pretty bad. Like the back of the elbow, I would say hurts. I heard the front hurts really bad too. I was actually going to get it like here, but I wanted it more hidden. This one I think was like the shop minimum of 60 or 72. All mine were really cheap because they're so small, you know. Basically, you're just paying for the fee of them, like opening the ink, designing it, opening a fresh needle, all of that. So it's really not that expensive. The paint on that, I would say it was like a seven or eight out of 10. I mean, it did hurt, but it was also pretty quick. I mean, it's not that big of a tattoo. So um, this one, I really like a lot. It's for my mom, it's so cute. Yeah. My most recent tattoo, I already have one for both my sisters on my back, but then me and Ashley, my older sister, both have the cross. So me and my little sister wanted something. So we got this butterfly. It looks like this. This is my most recent tattoo. I really like it a lot. It's obviously very like visible. Like you can definitely see it. Um, but if my arm's down like this, just to the front, you can't really see it that much. Um, and you can wear long sleeves to cover it for job interviews if they don't like tattoos, but most places don't mind anymore. Um, but the line work on this one is so good. When I insert the close up and ignore my fake tan because it's like coming off, um, you can see how well the line work is on this. And this one basically, so me and my little sister, she got this one with me in the same spot. So you'll see that in the, one of the pictures, but we got it because, well, we both love butterflies and I've been wanting a butterfly tattoo and she was like really wanting to get a matching one with just me. Um, we invited my older sister, but she didn't want it. And we were like trying to think what would we want and I had so many pins saved on Pinterest of butterflies because I just think they were so pretty. And my grandma actually has a butterfly on her ankle that reminds her of her mom when she passed away. So we were like, oh, we should just get that. And then like it's kind of ties in our grandma, which is our mom's mom into it. Uh, Cause I already have one for my dad's side of the family, which is our last name. So that's his side. So we got the butterfly. Um, he designed this for us. We brought in a picture from Pinterest but he did like um, the design. So when you're standing, it just kind of looks like this. So that tattoo actually hurt the worst, I would say, probably because there's like, there's not shading, but he did have to do pretty thick lines on the outside. So I'd say this one was like, it hurt the most, like an eight or nine out of 10. None of mine are that bad just because they're small. I'm sure if I got a bat, like a big one, I like literally wouldn't be breathing during it because I literally can't breathe during tattoos. And this one I think was like 90 or $100 just because he designed it. And so that's all about my tattoos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests, leave them down below. I am quarantined right now. I'm not leaving my house. Um, just drinking water and doing homework. My graduate school is now online, so that's terrible. It's very hard. It's very confusing. I sent my professor 100 emails and he probably hates me, but 
I don't know what to tell them because it's not my fault they made it online. I don't understand it in person, so I don't know how they expect me to understand it online. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more requests, leave them down below and I'll totally film them for you. Whatever you guys want because I'm not going to be working. Um, I don't get paid through YouTube or anything, but I just enjoy doing it for something to do. So I actually got ready today. I did my makeup, which I never do. I did my hair, which... It really needs done. I'm getting extensions in and I'm getting it more brown once this is all over. But my appointment's April 28th. I think it's going to be moved now, but that's okay. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any requests down below and stay safe. Bye, guys.